So I've come down to another one of my favourite little spots down at the local reserve. It's a little pond where, <clears throat> I mean, it just always feels like there should be so much going on. You know, it's a great little pond. Um, I mean, you can hear loads of reed warblers, Chetty's warblers. I can see loads of around, so I'm going to try and get some photos of, of the reed warblers or Chetty's, whichever are floating around. But as I say, it's, there should be loads of stuff in here. You know, I sort of expect to see kingfishers. I expect to see maybe even the otter going through here. Um, but there's never a lot, you know. But these reed warblers, I don't know if you can hear them in the background, but they're really going to be worth having a go at this morning. We'll see if we can get some shots. It's not going to be easy. But they're floating around. They're going from one reed bed to the other. And then they're going up and down the reed beds as well. So we'll see if we can get some of that. Um, I have seen a jay in here before, so we'll see if we can get some shots of the jay. And as I arrived this morning, I, I just wasn't ready. I was just putting the, almost putting the tripod on the ground. A cuckoo had landed up in the tree over there, but I missed it. So, uh, so the cuckoos do like to come around here as well. Um, so yeah, it could be interesting to say. It's, it's another one of those places where not a lot goes on, but you always feel there could be something special happen sometimes. So let's see, who knows, it might happen this morning. So once again, we've picked a pretty tough subject here. These reed warblers, I mean, I can hear them and there's loads out there. I just need them to come to the front of the reed bed so I can get shot and some videos. Um, I've got a couple of little bits, but it, they're really tough. They're just sitting in the reeds, won't come out to the front for me. They keep flying across the, the little pond here um, from one side to the other, but then they just disappear again into the reed bed. So this isn't going to be an easy one, definitely. We've just had the jay just land in the trees at the back of here, um, somewhere up, I guess around here somewhere, but it was pretty hidden in the tree, so it was really difficult to get any shots of. I think I've got a few images. I think I've got the head and the eyes um, sort of framed between the branches, which is probably quite nice. But uh, other than that, it was really hard. It was just feeding in the tree and just, you know, hiding away most of the time. But yeah, that's really nice to see the jay. Um, that's one of the other things we were looking for, but these these reed warblers are really posing uh, a problem. You know, they're they're flitting around, and occasionally they're just in front of the reeds, and occasionally we get a few images and a little tiny bit of video. But um, we're struggling to get much of them. We've had some long-tailed tits flying around here as well, which is quite nice. Um, but uh, let's see if we can focus a bit, and let's see if we can get a little bit more of these reed warblers.
just had a really brief glimpse of a, a bearded reeling, um, or some know it as a bearded tit. Um, I, was, I was listening to the, the reed warblers and just I saw something pop up on the top of the reeds and assumed it was a reed warbler. Just got the camera on it and just fired, I think, two shots. Um, and when I look on the back of the camera, it actually is a, a bearded reedling, but it, I, I couldn't. I mean, it's no, the, the photos are no good. You know, it was hidden away. I'll try and I'll have a look and see, but I don't think they're any good. But that's really amazing. I've, I've never really got any decent shots of, well, I don't think I've got any shots uh, of a bearded reeling. So that's one of my target species. So if that comes around and spends a bit more time here, that would be really good. I, I sort of I thought I heard it earlier, uh, heard it briefly, and then, as I say, um, thought it was a, a, um, a reed warbler and just, just fired the shots off and then saw it, it definitely wasn't. So, uh, excellent. Um, that would be nice if that sticks around. We've just had a sparrowhawk just fly past here as well, but I just couldn't get any focus lock on it. It was it came past so quick and so close. I just just couldn't get anything on it. Um, so that's it. It's, it's a tough morning. Um, as I say, the reed warp is really tough to get hold of. The jay hiding away. Um, the cuckoo we missed when we first got here, and now we just missed the sparrowhawk. One of those days, I guess. Um, yeah, but beautiful little spot. You know, I really love it here. And I just think there should be loads of stuff going on here. Um, so I will keep trying down here, definitely, um, from time to time. So that's it for me. Um, thanks for watching. Whatever you're doing, have a great day. And I'll catch up with you again soon. Bye for now.